Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, today I will be sharing a short tutorial on how to make wooden pumpkins. I have gotten so many comments from my last week's video about the um, 4x4 wooden pumpkins that I had and I had made those several years ago and I never actually did a tutorial on them. So I thought um, I could share a different spin on it. Um, these were, well, length of picture here. So as you can see, they're stand, stand up ones and I had just taken a four by four and cut it up into different lengths. And the reason why I use the four by four is because it is a, has a more wider, uh, surface so it they can stand up um, so in this project I am using two and a half by one and a half and I, it's just a scrap of wood that I had um, laying around you could probably use two by fours um, you probably won't need as many um, in height then maybe just use three instead of four but I mean really any scrap of wood would work that you have laying around the house and that's exactly what I did um, this is from a sign my husband's a real estate agent and uh, that was from one of his signs so I just used it uh, cut it up and used it because uh, he wasn't using it anymore and then I had a just some the uh, cut up tree that we cut up cut down and I just cut a little piece of it for my stem I am also using just a leaf from some of the floral uh, that I have that I taken apart you don't have to uh, it's totally optional some orange paint and you can really paint these pumpkins any color you want you can make that I've seen them polka dot I've seen them white made into almost like a, like a ghost type of thing like or black with just orange eyes like I mean the possibilities are endless uh, there's ton of different uh, styles and looks on Pinterest so uh, find what you like and and make it that's my uh, my motto <laughs> if you, you you know just because one person makes something doesn't mean we all have to make it <laughs> so uh, anyways so you will need, like I said, paint, paintbrush, and hot glue. You could also screw these. I'm just gonna hot glue them. They're gonna be in. These are gonna be inside, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah. So I'm go first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it together, and then I'm going to paint it. So I cut up three different sizes. So you want it from the widest to the narrowest. Kind of use that wood as a guideline so I don't go over with the glue too much because the paint doesn't go very well on the glue. I'm going to hot glue this at the end after I painted it so I don't get paint on it. So you want to have have this sit until it's uh, cured so a couple minutes and you want to use some sandpaper if you have a bit of loose edges of kind of sharp edges or just some like splitting wood you want to sand it off so you don't get splinters all right so mine's all ready for paint and I'm just going to paint it now. I'm not going very thick with paint because I kind of like for the white to show through. But that's just the look that I'm going for. see I'm not even getting any paint on my hands that's how dry I'm going okay 
So what I'm going to do now, after it has dried a little bit, I'm going to sand a couple areas down just to kind of distress it a little bit. to take a clean brush and just brush off the sanding there I think they uh, looks really good now I'm going to attach the leaf just has this little part on it from being on the greenery but first I'm going to attach this and I kind of cut it on an angle so it sits a little bit on an angle. There, and then just a little bit of this awfully hot glue, because I really don't want to get burnt. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see what that looks like when I got burned. My fingers were awful. Now you can leave it like this. Like I said, you can draw a jack-o'-lantern face. I like it just like this. I think it's gonna be a great addition to my fall decor. And I can't wait, I will be sharing my fall decor next week, next Tuesday, so a week from today, and I can't wait till you guys see it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing, pressing that notification bell. I have been having so much fun collaborating with lots of different YouTube ladies uh, for this fall season, ton of stuff, and I'm hoping to have equally as much as stuff for Christmas. So if seasonal decorating is your thing, um, you should definitely consider subscribing because I have tons of stuff from recipes, DIYs, decorating tips, decorating ideas, hauls, all sorts of stuff. So. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.